I always speak a stock of the day, something's in the news, South32, um, the big mining company, base metal company out with a business update, expecting recent investments to uh, lift group copper production by more than 20% financial year 22 compared to previous years. The mine is also looking to double its share in green aluminium production by starting up its Brazilian smelter. Shares which have already been on a hot run are up again today, almost 5%. What are the, the gurus on the panel think? Luke Winchester, what do you think of uh, the South 32 update and, and the stock at this price? Yeah, well, you know me, Koshi, I'm, I'm more of a micro cap, small cap guy and, and, and don't do a great deal of resources. So South 32 is one I haven't looked at for, for quite a while and, and you sent it through as stock of the day. And, you know, I remember this being spun out of BHP as the, the ugly stepchildren of BHP's portfolio. Um, and it's, it's performed exceptionally well. And I think the key to that is I opened up the presentation you were just referring to and literally the first slide once you get past the, the, the dot points is um, the focus on the return on invested capital. And it's, it's so important for mining companies to, to have a management team that are heavily focused on that return on capital because we know these businesses being cyclical, they tend to overspend at the top of the cycle and then get caught with their pants down as the, as the cycle turns. So, you know, you've clearly got a management team here that has a, a long-term view for this business. They're investing, you know, in the right ways at the right time and, and taking advantage of the cycle when it presents itself. Um, you know, you look at the exposures they've got and they're looking to get to, you get a nice diversified base metal exposure. A lot of it's tied to some really long-term trend along EVs. Um, it doesn't look very expensive at all, particularly where commodity prices are today. I think the market's, you know, pricing in some some mean reversion there with, with commodity prices. But, you know, you've got a management team, like I said, they're committed to capital returns to shareholders. You'll get you'll continue to get a good dividend out of this stock. Um, it's it's not a stock for me with Meriwether Capital, just the, the way I position myself. But for, you know, a, a more conservative investor who wants some diversified mining exposure and maybe looking outside of a BHP or Rio, I think South 32 looks looks fantastic for that sort of exposure. So for the right investor, I, I think it's a buy. Yeah. Um, Henry? I get the feeling that BHP kind of regretted getting rid of this one. It, it's like having a problem child yeah. that changed schools and excels. Exactly. And then you're thinking... Different oh. environment. Well, I yeah. guess, why didn't we do it earlier is the question. Yeah. But yeah. having said that, I mean, when BHP split this one away, uh, they gave it uh, a new lease of life. They gave yeah. it a focus. The management obviously now are invested in the company rather than a, a part of a bigger thing. And it's hard to move the dial when you're part of BHP. The, these guys have done an exceptional job. The management's particularly good. Capital management's particularly good as well. They're exposed to all the cool electrification, greenification of the economy yeah. kind of uh, materials, with the exception, I guess, of lithium. Yeah. But copper, nickel, zinc, um, manganese, alumina, aluminium, you know, right. you just run across the whole lot of them. And they're all going to be crucial. These guys are going to be at the forefront. The stock's done really, really well. Um, it's shrugged off the blues that we've seen uh, from uh, the markets in the last yep. few weeks. So, you know, for me, this has been one of our core recommendations in the resources space. We like mm. this one. Uh, great management. Has Even at these well. levels? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, if, if you take the, you know, take the view that um, we are seeing this inflation and resources is one place to be for um, you know, yep. to counter that inflationary force, then I think, you know, you look at the quality ones and these guys are quality. Buybacks, capital management, yep. everything's good. And as Luke says, good, you know, good return on investment. They've been laser focused as well um, yeah. with the company on the commodities and they're in good spaces. I, I like this one, I have to okay. say, even at these levels, I think this is, okay. you know, I like all resources at the moment. I think resources still uh, one of the places to be, especially after and this still cell. a way to go. We haven't and still a way to go. This is going to, you know, this this change that we're seeing in the in the world, it, you know, we're not basing it on two weeks here, two yeah. weeks there, up, down, sideways, whatever. This is dec This is going to take a decade, yeah. at least, uh, to wash through as we move to electric vehicles, uh, renewables, mm. all this sort of thing, changing the energy mix in the economy. So, you know, let, for me, let alone the Russia. Well, let England alone Russia, well. Ukraine, and, and all that stuff that's going yeah. on at the moment, which is just, you know, crazy. Yeah. Um, so for me, you know, resources still are a good place to be. Is this uh, South 32 better than its parent? Um, I Rio? like, I, I still like BHP. Oh, I think okay. it's, uh, you know, it's quality. They're moving into new metals as well and yeah. to new projects. Janssen, the potash thing now, they're talking about maybe accelerating that because of the world fertilizer shortage and the way fertilizer yeah. prices have gone through the roof. Yeah. So 
for me, BHP still stands out. First of out. June, they get rid of oil. Yep, first of well, in theory, in as theory, long yeah. as Woodside vote yes. I think yeah. it's the 26th of May or something oh, yeah, when they yeah, vote. Yeah, so. Uh, so as long as that goes through, you know. It's, but again, this is another one where you go, why are you getting rid of this? I know why they're getting rid of it. Yeah. I know why they're getting yeah. rid of it. ESG and ESG, all that sort of yeah. stuff. Fossil fuels aren't cool anymore. But you know, they got rid of South 32 and it's prospered. They, they're going to get rid of the oil and gas stuff. That's going to prosper, I'm sure, under Woodside. Um, what does that leave? It leaves still a, a pretty focused right. uh, company in BHP. I like BHP and I like the management. 